Hey kids, do you want to cook something yummy for your mummies? Then make yourselves comfortable and get ready to write down our recipe for the day. Good afternoon again. My name is Wendy Hawkins and I work for Smart Raspberry. Today we're at the Downley School and we are going to make banoffee pie. Banoffee pie is a traditional English dessert made from bananas and toffee. The recipe for the pie was developed in 1972 by two chefs at the Hungry Monk restaurant in East Sussex. The dessert was very popular and the recipe was kept secret until 1994. Banoffee pie. Here is the dish here. It's yummy with caramel. Biscuit, cream and chocolate. Here is the cream. This is already whipped. And then bananas, full of fibre bananas. Lovely. Homemade caramel sauce. Yummy, but very, very sweet. This is plain chocolate, which we have melted. And these are oaty biscuits, which are lovely and they snap apart and they have a lot of syrup in them, but they're really yummy to eat. You're going to follow us while we make this and then you can make it yourself. Ingredients, one banana, three tablespoons of whipped cream, two tablespoons of caramel sauce, two teaspoons of melted chocolate, and six oaty biscuits. So what I want you to do with your bag is add six biscuits, three, four, five, and there's two halves there, six, okay? Once you've done that, tie that round just loosely, but hold it, and then you're going to bang until it's all like breadcrumbs, no great big bits in it. Put the biscuits into the bag. Crush up the biscuits. Crush up the biscuits until they are crumbled. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to add our melted butter be careful because this is hot. When you've done that, I want you to add it to your biscuits and mix your biscuits round until it's all, they're all coated. Be sure to shake the melted butter and use just 40 grams. Add the melted butter. Mix the ingredients. I've weighed out my butter and now I'm mixing it in with my biscuit. Right, you've all got a container Take a spoonful at a time each until all your mixture's gone. Okay, so you share your mixture out. I want you to get your metal spoon and you're going to level out your biscuits and press it down at the same time. Put the mixture into a container. Fill up 
flatten the biscuit. I'm pressing down the biscuit base with a bit of a spoon to make it level. OK, kids. We have already made the base for our banoffee pie. Let's keep going. We're going to whip some cream. Whipped cream is cream that is beaten with a whisk, mixer or fork. It was popular as early as the 16th century and was called milk snow. Today, you can use whipped cream as a topping for pies, ice cream and even coffee. So, get ready to make lots of mussels. <laughs> because it does take a while. Whip the cream. Um, we are whipping the cream then to spread um, over our biscuit base. As my grandson says, like that when he's trying to open a banana. Just peel it. If you get stuck opening it, just say so or cut it with a knife at the top. And then you're going to slice. Not too thin until all your banana is gone. Banana is a grass, not a tree. Bananas are harvested when green to stay fresh when being transported over long distances. Bananas only grow in warm climates, but are exported worldwide. Peel the banana. Slice up the banana. This is the caramel I made. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you can smell it when it comes round. Caramel is made by heating sugar and adding syrup to it. The higher the temperature used while heating, the darker the caramel will be. To make the caramel sauce for our pie, you'll need brown sugar, butter and condensed milk. What I want you to do, take one spoonful, take two spoonfuls. That is more than enough, okay? Watch. Back of the spoon again. You're going to smooth it out. Add the caramel sauce. Got some caramel and now we're spreading it on top of the base of our uh, banoffee pie. Don't add too much caramel sauce. Remember, it's very sweet. Right, next step, girls. You're going to place your bananas onto your dish. Okay, so that's what I want to see. Children, yeah. can you see? Add the banana. Make just one smooth banana layer. This will make your pie look more beautiful and tasty. Next step. You're going to get some lovely whipped dollopy cream. Yeah. 
add the whipped cream. Melted plain chocolate. I'm going to get a spoonful. Okay. Come on, quickly. I'm putting the um, putting the chocolate on the um, cream and I'm swiggling it around. After decorating the pie with chocolate, put it in the fridge to chill before serving. Um, this is our finished product. This is our banoffee pie, and the children are about to taste it to see what they think. Now you, at home, can do this by following our recipe, and it really is very scrumptious. <laughs> Dig in, children. Oh. Go ahead, children, and try cooking banoffee pie for your mummies right now. Good luck, and see you next time. Say bye-bye. 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 Thank you for coming. We're English, and I am mad. <laughs> banoffee pie. Crush the biscuits by placing them in a plastic food bag and bashing with a rolling pin. Combine the crushed biscuits and melted butter and press into the bottom of the container. Then spread the caramel sauce over the biscuit base. Arrange the banana slices over the caramel. Whip the cream to form soft peaks and spread over the bananas. Allow the melted chocolate to cool before drizzling over the cream to decorate.